section of the NBC Connecticut app. We are the only local news station committed to answering every call and email. I'm Sandra Jones, NBC Connecticut Responds. Right now on NBC Connecticut. Counting down. An historic meeting between the U.S. and North Korea is now just hours away. We have a live report from Singapore. Sunny and dry today, but I'm tracking our next chance for rain. Find out when in my first alert forecast. Board of Ed versus and Sonia. Where things stand now with the city's funding battle, it's going to court tomorrow. Tearful plea. I have been threatened to get shot in the head by an AK-47 and buried in my backyard. A fifth grader begs her school board for help with bullies. How her message is now sparking action. Fewer rules. The changes now in effect for internet providers and how it affects the way you surf the web right now. This is NBC Connecticut News at 5. Right now at 5, the stage is set for history to be made. You're looking live at Singapore, where we are just hours away from the first ever meeting between a sitting U.S. president and a North Korean leader. The world will be watching as President Trump and Kim Jong-un sit down for talks this evening in just about four hours from now. Thank you for joining us. I'm Keisha Grant. And I'm Mike Heideck. NBC's Blaine Alexander is live in Singapore where that meeting begins 9 a.m. local time. That's 9 o'clock tonight our time. And Blaine, we're starting to learn the president is planning to leave even earlier than expected. So Mike and Keisha, it seems almost minute by minute now we're learning just more details about one, what this summit will actually look like and two, what we can expect to happen afterwards. So you will remember President Trump had said several days ago that this summit could go for as long as two to three days if necessary. But now the plan from the White House is that